I'm very excited to announce that I'm teaming up with Mr. Humble. He has a Facebook group chat called Madden Competitive Gaming. Link to that is in the description. If you want to get some good games, some good competition, want to lab with some people who know what they're doing, go check it out. Just send an invite request and you'll get invited. It's a whole lot of fun. Been on there for a couple of days now and it's been a great community. Make sure to check it out and have fun watching this video. Welcome back to another video on the channel, everybody. Today I want to show you how to build the best team in Ultimate Team. And now this sounds really uh, like you have to have a lot of coins and you have to really know what you're doing. You have to play a lot of head-to-head -head seasons games to make coins. You have to spend a lot of money to get a lot of coins. Now it's all about coins. No, it is not. I'm going to show you how you can make the best team you can afford and really that a team that makes sense for you personally to run because obviously it doesn't make sense uh, to, to strive for the best team overall. But how you can make the best team possible for yourself, even on a budget. Now, before we get into it, please make sure to subscribe to the channel to support what I'm doing. I'm really on the grind right now. This is like, I think, five days in a row where I've done two uploads a day. Maybe it's only four, but really I've just been pedal to the metal. I've been really trying my hard out. So if you appreciate what I'm doing, if these videos help you, please let me know by hitting the subscribe button. Also, let me know some video ideas in the comments below that you want me to talk about. Maybe it's something that you need some help with. I'm always open for new ideas. Now, let's get into it. You can see me. I'm currently on my screen. I want to talk about the evolution of kind of how I have come to build my team. Now, in previous years in Ultimate Team, it was very simple. I just looked at the best cars. Who could I afford? Who made sense for me to pick up? Now, and that was pretty much all, the whole idea behind me building my team. Now, this year, with pretty much anyone, or not anyone, everyone, Pretty much every player who can afford it is going after a theme team. Now, what that means is that you get players with the same who were, who played on the same team, equip their team chemistries, and this will give them some boosts. For example, at 25 out of 50, you get every player that has that team chemistry. Let's say I have the Seahawks right here. I have 25 uh, Seahawks, so that means any one of them gets a plus one speed. If I were to go 50 out of 50 Seahawks, then that will mean plus two speed. So, kind of the idea was for me to move to a theme team and I went double theme team I double theme teams whatever that means I went with the Seahawks theme team and I went with the Cardinals theme team that would mean that I have 25 Seahawks players and 25 Cardinals players now that gives you some really serious restrictions because what if the player that you want is not a Cardinals theme team on the Cardinals or on the Seahawks and he doesn't fit on your team anymore he can only have 55 players so that really gives you some limitations and now that is why I've kind of moved on. How do you build a theme team? Let's talk about that first. And then I'll talk about what I am going to do because I'm rebuilding my team and I kind of want to, wanted to let you guys know what I'm doing. So basically what you want to do is you want to make sure you have, you figure out what team you want to build and go on over to Mudhead and uh, find the theme team. There's, there's a guy over there, a couple of guys that really keep up to date with the newest theme teams. And I'm going to show you this right now. I'll go over there uh, right now. So give me a second. There you go. So now, uh, you can see all I have to do is you just have to move the theme team. And the, th the theme team I went for was the Seahawks theme team. So Seahawks, uh, my bad. Can I type Seahawks theme team man? Twenty one. You can see it already. It commands it to me. All right, so I can click on this link. And now this is a Mudhead link. You can see all the cars on there, and you know what you have to look for if you want to build the theme team. Now you can search for some players that you really need. For example, this Devin Hester. He's one of the cars that I really needed. So this is one that I really wanted. And now we think about what other 25 out of 50 th theme team you want to build. Maybe you want to build this in this exact theme team, the entire Seahawks. But I have figured out you want to kind of mix and match with the theme team. That kind of blends out some of the weaknesses. So for, for example, on right guard and right tackle, the Seahawks are very weak. So I would find a theme team that has solid other positions and has a good right guard and right tackle. Now that is something that I used to think. But now I have changed it. There are a couple of things that I still will do and I want to go back to my full face cam now. What I am going to do is I'm going to change my theme team completely. I think I'm going to sell about every player that I have right here except for maybe Reggie Bush, Brett, Brett Favre and John Smith. But a lot of other people are going to get sold. I'm going to redo a theme team and I'm going to do a 25 out of 50 theme team. And I'm going to fill the rest of the positions with the best players that I can afford. You can see I have 1.0 million coins right now after i sell everything i'll be about three million coins maybe i'll do some more coin making methods and then i'll get up to the point where i can kind of start to make some moves and now that is kind of what i'm recommending everyone uh to do right now first of all actually no let me get to this right here 
all right some salt uh when you uh go build your team you want to always uh, go for the uh theme diamonds that that player that the team has and for the seahawks and for the cardinals for the seahawks it's the max strong you can see if i go on to him right here compare uh you will see actually kind of see his chemistry right here ah uh, yes i can you can see i have times three uh seahawks chemistry now that means that he is worth three seahawks players just in one if i have that uh theme chemistry activated also if i go to, right here to adrian wilson if I go to upgrade, let's upgrade is probably the better place to go. You can see he also has times three Cardinals. That means he's worth three Cardinals players or the, he has the chemistry for three Cardinals players combined. So that's definitely what you want. Another thing that I recommend you to do is you go to the team strategy and equip the coach, the uniforms and the stadium. Now that is four uh, team uh, four team chemistry points for the Cardinals that I have extra. Also, I figured out that the Cardinals uh, units look really nice, so that's why I kept them on. Just for everyone asking, I'm a Seahawks fan, but I kept them on because I look I think they look kind of fire. And then you're basically straight. Another thing that you can do is you if you max out, let's say your team captain, I have Lerwick Lover right here. You can add on to him times four team chemistry. Now this is insane. Uh, because you have times three for the uh, max strong times three for the uh the royal lover you have seven players inside of two players so this now gives you a lot of flexibility because now you have some oh, some positions open that you can really work with but i'm gonna pretty much without exception sell all the seahawks players players maybe i'll keep jamal adams because he's been balling but sell all the seahawks players and go to invest into the Raiders theme team. The Raiders theme team, I asked Scott Fox in the stream. I want to shout him out. He says the Raiders theme team is pretty much the best one to go for. Uh, they have a lot of awesome cornerbacks. They have good wide receiver. They have Randy Moss. They have good running backs. And really, they are just the theme team to go with. Now, this is what I recommend you to do. Go out. Find the theme team that you want to go with. I have seen that the uh, Raiders one is kind of expensive. Not going to lie. It might be difficult to uh, make budget work, but we'll try. We'll see how far we can go, and this might be a multi-week period. But my plan is to... Let me go back to... Uh, this might be a multi-week period, but this is where I'm going, what, I'm, what my plan is now. Uh, if you have any questions with what schemes you want to build your team around, that is one very important thing. Some schemes you need specific personnel, maybe you need two good tight ends maybe you need three or four good wide receivers then of course things change but now uh kind of some uh out of my ass talking uh, to end this video i have to say that this ghetto player method it has been taking a lot of time and really i'm not sure if it is worth it so all the guys uh who have already started building your uh 50 players that's one of the videos that I, or one of the things that i talked about in my, one of my last videos might not be worth your time honestly i have found out that it is it is very time consuming it was fun the first time but after that it just takes time maybe i'll do one more player you can see that it has made me some coins uh but maybe it's not for everyone i can understand why some people might think that it takes too long also a couple of things that i want to announce tomorrow is going to be all about gameplay like i'm going to give you some gameplay it's not really gameplay because I'm not really, really into playing uh, head to head seasons right now. Like, it just takes too much time for me. It takes too much time out of my day. I have to do some schoolwork. Obviously, I'm still trying to do in, uh, a lot for YouTube. I really cannot play online too much except for the weekends. So, this is why tomorrow I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna post two gameplay tips. I think I'm gonna uh, do an update on the uh, trip side end offense. And maybe I'll even show you how I. Some ideas that I use to defend trips and these are the two this is the plan for tomorrow So if you're excited for that, uh, let me know in the comments also subscribe so you don't miss that obviously Because sometimes YouTube is weird and even though you've seen one of my videos They might not show you one of my videos recommended on my on your home screen again So if you want to support me and make sure to not miss uh, the future videos and obviously let me know and then as the week kind of goes on I'm gonna make sure to put out the remaining games for, of my weekend league i'm gonna try to do a series on that now this takes a lot of time i like doing them it's good for me because i can look back on some of the issues that i maybe had the, uh, the previous weekend but also it just takes a lot of time and it doesn't seem like all my supporters or all my viewers are engaged with it so obviously just let me know if you want to see that going forward i personally don't see the greatest numbers on it and if you guys don't enjoy it then 
I don't really see a point in doing it. Now, obviously, this sounds really stupid, but I want you guys to enjoy what I'm doing with this channel. I want you guys to learn from my videos. And if you don't feel like you can, you learn too much from my um, weekly league recaps, then I might just have to change that because, like I said, I don't really feel good with you people not enjoying what I'm doing. And yeah, this was kind of a bit big rant. Please let me know in the comments uh, what you think, how your team is doing, because my. I have to say, I feel like I'm not really keeping up with the Seahawks team team. I kind of noticed this pa the past weekend league. I really did not match up with anybody uh, where my team was better than them. It was pretty much always, almost always equal where the team was like way better. And the Raiders theme team is really popular. So that's why I'm going with it. Let me know what theme teams you're rocking with. If you're rocking with anyone. And yeah, make sure to use that resource on the internet. Just type in uh chicago bears theme team and look if you like it oh, my bad uh type in washington football team theme team and see if you like that that is also one of the more popular ones if you see me if you want to see me rank the theme teams let me also know because that is always something that i i find interesting to watch like where the different theme teams are at maybe uh, what theme team you want to pursue but for now this video has been way too long i can already see 11 minutes this was not an 11 minute video but you know you gotta push it to 10 minutes just kidding, but I just like rambling, giving my thoughts. And yeah, I'm out of thoughts. Uh, goodbye, guys. There's been another tiring day. I'll try to get some sleep uh, tonight to make sure the videos t tomorrow are amazing. Which there certainly can be like just stopping trips that in. Not much more important right now, in my opinion. But for now, I'm already, this has been way too long, guys. I'm sorry. I apologize. Goodbye, guys.